Hey guys, so today's video is about a celebrity, which I don't really talk about a lot, but I thought this was so trash that I had to talk about it. So subscribe to that bell, like comment for engagement, and I will get into it. So we're talking about Adam Levine today, who is the lead singer for, well, he's the only singer for Maroon 5. Obviously they have some bops, they also have some flops. Uh, Maroon 5 is just kind of like a, like a, like an ongoing band, like they just kind of do their thing. I actually like them more at the beginning of their career than now, but that's just my opinion. So he is dating a Victoria's Secret model called Bahati, Prince Lou, I'm hoping I pronounced that properly. And he has two children with her and she's currently pregnant with his third child. And guess what this man is doing? Having an affair, that's what he's doing. And it gets more evil than that, I'll get into it. So he's cheated on his wife with an Instagram model slash an OnlyFans model called Sumner. They've had like a year long affair. Now they both claim different things or hint at different things. So here's the TikTok that she posted. I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. We're in five is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell at this point. <laughs> I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised, I was completely manipulated. I handled this privately, I never wanted to come forward because obviously I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do, and being an Instagram model. Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes. I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted, and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so here I am. Now, what people don't appreciate about that is the way she victimizes herself versus, you know, the actual victims, aka his wife and his children, who are the actual victims of this. And they're the only victims of this story. She claims that she was young, but this happened literally a year ago. So she was only a year younger than she is now, which isn't that different. Of course, you change a bit, but it's not an excuse for dating a married man. She also claims that she was new to LA. She doesn't really know how things work. Being new to LA doesn't make you a mistress automatically. Like most people that move to a new city don't just become a mistress um, and don't date married men. So people are slating her. When I say slating her, I mean slating her. The TikToks, the TikTok comments, and then it actually got moved to the Bird app, Twitter, and people were just coming for her throat. Now, I'll preface this with, Adam Levine is the only one that owes Bahati any Loyalty. He made the vows. He is promising loyalty to her. Sumner doesn't owe her anything. But does that make her correct? No. I actually think Sumner is not a girl's girl. She's a snake. She's evil. She's vindictive. And I'll get into all of that. Anytime you're a mistress, you are evil and vindictive. Of course, I'll blame the man or the woman who was cheating more than the mistress. But that does not mean that the mistress is not at fault at all. I don't really understand the recent, like, Girls support girls, we're not allowed to criticize women. No, no, if you're the other woman, knowingly, knowingly dating a man who is married, I am not going to be a girl's girl for you. I'm not gonna support you in any capacity. Of course, I'll blame the man more, but you are also at fault for dating a man who you knew was taken. And that is an opinion I'm not gonna budge on. Don't even bother, like just delete the comment that you're typing. She then realized that people were trashing her. So she posted this part two. I just wanted to make a part two. Um, I feel like that's obviously necessary. Um, hindsight is 2020. I initially wanted to go in and talk about how remorseful I feel and how embarrassed and disgusted I am with myself, but I didn't want people to look at it and think like, oh, she's playing the victim. But in reality, it had the opposite effect. Something I now realize I didn't touch on enough was the fact that um, one of my friends had attempted to sell it, um, which I realized yesterday whenever they reached out to me for comment. And so I was completely frantic. That is why that video is, for one, just so all over the place. And two, why I didn't touch on some of the things that I initially would have liked. So in this video, I'd like to address some of those things. 
I only came forward because I wanted to kill whatever story the tabloid had. The most important part that I did definitely gloss over is the fact that I was under the impression that their marriage was over. I believe that they were keeping it quiet to avoid the negative press because, as I had said, I was new to LA. So I just assumed that with celebrities of that caliber that that's just how it was. And that's why I feel exploited because he knew I believed everything that he said because of my vulnerable position of being new to LA. Also, he was DMing me straight from his verified Instagram account. I didn't have any reason to further question it. But I now realize that that was likely a manipulation tactic of his, you know, just hiding in plain sight. As soon as I had realized that was not the case, I had cut things off with him. In retrospect, I wish I would have questioned things more. I wish I wasn't so naive, but you know, being naive is not an excuse for what I did in the role I played in this. Again, in no way was I trying to gain sympathy and I fully realize I'm not the victim in this. I'm not the one who's really getting hurt here. It's Biotti and her children. And for that, I'm so, so sorry. Well, she basically talks about how she, she kind of like uh, develops the, the narrative that she was painting. And she also said something very interesting about the fact that she only came out with this TikTok because allegedly someone was selling the story to the press. Another thing is obviously the fact that she thought they were separated. I think if, until the divorce papers are seen by me, I'm not involved. Like that's just my personal decision, but obviously do as you want. People go through a past post, and this is why I think she's vindictive and evil as well. They go through a past post and she claims, she seems to be almost making fun of Bahati because I think she feels superior to her in some way. You know, Adam sent her these DMs being like, you're the most stunning guy I've ever seen, you're so hot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that made her feel like she was above Bahati, this Victoria's Secret model. You know, Victoria's Secret models are seen as superior. They're seen as these beautiful, and they are, Bahati is beautiful, but they're seen as these like stunning angel beings, right? So to be almost picked by a man who has this Victoria's Secret model, must have made her feel superior to Bahati in some way, which is why I'm not supporting her in any way. Like, I'm a girl's girl through and through, but not for Sumner. She basically would make these posts, uh, for example, these TikToks to his music. Obviously, I can't play it because I'll get copyright claimed. Posts where she is talking down on Bahati. I don't, I don't think you bitches get it, okay? You can't outdo the doer, okay? You can't outshine the shiner, baby. It's all very childhood behavior. She seems to behave like a high school kid. Like you're 20 something, you're behaving like you're 12, 15, maybe. Grow up. Like I just think it's so like petty and childish and just makes me feel icky like it's just a bit gross the way she was because she's trying to paint herself as a victim this is why i'm like criticizing her because she paints herself as the victim but the whole time the affair was happening she was doing anything to feel superior to the woman who is the victim in this situation like i just think it's disgusting and the fact that she was trying to do this like oh well me i'm victim like but you didn't think about Bahati when you were making all of these nasty comments about her. Like, I just don't really get it. Mm. This all came out because he recently DM'd her as well, asking if his third child could be named after her. Now, how evil as a man do you have to be? How much do you have to hate your wife? Like, absolutely despise your wife. To have a mistress and then name your child after said mistress without your wife knowing. And now your wife is going to find out after she had already named the child, if this didn't come out. And look at her child every single day and be reminded of the fact that you're a cheating so he actually posts a statement about this. I'm gonna read it out to you guys, because it's very interesting. It's very interesting what this man has to say. A lot is being said about me right now and I want to clear the air. I used to pour judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this for my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could have ever made. I'll never make it again. I take full responsibility. We we will get through it and we will get through it together. Don't talk on behalf of your wife. So now other celebrities are also speaking about this. For example, Emily Ratajkowski has been posting some like TikTok stories about this. And this is actually very interesting because she was recently publicly cheated on as well, which is 
you know, it's, it seems to be a common trend in Hollywood. Um, so she's been posting about this, other celebrities have been speaking out about this, but what's actually really interesting is people are coming out against Sumner, e.g. her brother's ex girlfriend, that was so confusing. Her brother's ex-girlfriend has talked about how some of those treat her and other people. I'll post the TikToks right now. This, this right here. I have been waiting for this day because I used to date her younger brother. Yeah, three years ago, I dated her younger brother. And when I say this woman had made my life a literal hell, I have not ever met a more manipulative, mean, condescending, excuse my language, but than this woman. I literally have text messages of everything she's ever sent me, of her literally threatening me, slandering my name. I believe this woman right here has no regret, remorse, or even doesn't even probably feel ashamed for what she did. She's a marketing major. She knows what she's doing. This woman, I have screen recordings of when I dated her brother three years ago and her literally paying for bots. She literally has probably been saving this moment up for a really long time. And her friend that tried to probably expose her? Yeah, bullshit. This, she probably had it planned the whole time. This is just some of the things she used to send me. You know, like she was just an awful human being and was never nice to me. I literally bought her Marc Jacobs and Anastasia Beverly Hill and all these nice makeup products for Christmas when I first got together with him and she didn't even give me a thank you. Everything about this woman is fake and I wouldn't believe a thing she posts on the internet. So clearly Summer is a mean girl, is what we, but like we knew this, we already saw her character, you know, um, poking fun at the wife of your affair. Well, you know, you're his, do you know what I mean? Like not only are you dating a married man, you're also poking fun at his wife and like feeling superior because you feel hotter than her and you um, just making fun of her because you feel better because you're what the other woman like I just she's such a mean girl she gives such high school vibes like it's just so childish and petty that I'm not even surprised by any of this and I like it obviously hasn't been confirmed as true but I don't not believe it so she has been obviously sending the ex-girlfriend of her brother abusive texts um, accusing her of theft being awful to her family to the point where even um, a granddad in the family had to apologize to the girlfriend being like, hey, I'm so sorry for everyone's behavior. Like Sumner is mean, like, I'm so sorry. Now more women have actually come out to say that Adam has been cheating on Bahati, which is just like, ugh, like just so much is coming out. Like I would not want to be, you're pregnant with his third child and now you're dealing with all of this on the internet. Like I just can't even begin to think about this. But um, there's a girl called Marika who is a comedian, posted some flirty DMs that he sent her. And another girl called Alison Rosef was another woman who got flirty DMs from him and she's posting them because she feels bad for Bahati. How about instead of posting them publicly, you just send them to her? If you feel so bad about how she's being publicly humiliated, like maybe don't humiliate her more. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Like, ugh. Anyway, I just think trash, electric chair. I only feel bad for Bahati and her children. No one else, no one else deserves my sympathy. Not even an ounce of sympathy. Not that anyone's asking for it. Sumner, trash. Adam Levine, the trashiest of trash, literally electric chair. How dare you? How dare, she's actually creating life for you and this is how you repay her. Great, good for you. And this whole like, there was never any like physical cheating. Emotional cheating is way worse, in my opinion. Like sticking your penis in someone is not difficult, but finding an emotional connection with someone is. That is gross and also time consuming. Like you're spending, actively spending time on another woman that you could be spending on your wife who is carrying your children, your child, and has carried past children. Gross, electric chair. Sunday morning, rain is falling. <laughs> and this one is just for fun. <laughs> okay, here is the tea. So I already knew Adam Levine was cheating in 2018 because my Bahati was in my ex's DMs um, and he was telling me as if it was already common knowledge that he was cheating. She's, she cheats. They both cheat. Like it's like a thing. So I was under the impression that it was an open relationship and this was common knowledge. But apparently nobody knew any of this.
Before anyone asks, no, I don't have any DMs. I'm not with my ex anymore. They're all on his phone. And I didn't even know who Bahati was at the time. My ex told me that she was totally okay with it. Like, they're not in an open relationship, but that she knows. And she's doing the exact same thing. Allegedly. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Because, like, I can't prove myself. But, you guys, I saw messages. So, for legal reasons, this is just for entertainment. Subscribe to the bell, like, comment for engagement. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.